Well, welcome back. What do we got here? Check this out. We've been looking around for one that we can use. Even got the lid. Most of the time them lids are gone. Good, clean. Not chipped up inside. We plugged it in. Everything seems to work like it should. So, uh, she gonna do a load of laundry out here in the backyard in it and then hang it out on her Amish clothes dryer. So if you like what you're seeing, sub up, leave a comment, and I'll talk to you. But, yep, the old Maytag. I'll bring you back when we got her running here. All right, she's bound and determined to try her out. Putting the water and the soap in there. She's going to add the clothes and finish filling it. We'll fire it off and let her run a little bit. Well, she's got her clothes in there. She's just washing away, agitating away. And she's agitating. I oh, if you could see the smile on this woman's face for something old-fashioned like this. She likes the old stuff. And we'll put the lid on it and leave it go for a while. So now the plan is, this fall, once we're done here with this stuff, there's some beans growing in there, potatoes in that barrel, but I'm going to move these barrels out of here. And I got some lumber stacked down in the shed. And we're going to build a little, like, three-sided little uh, shed here back tight against the fence and we're gonna put that ringer washer on the one side and we got the double wash tub with a ringer out front we're gonna put in there too so when we want to we can just do laundry outside and keep the mess out of the house if we want and if the new wash machine with its electronics acts up we got this one and if you know crap hits the fan as they say I can get a little gasoline and fire up the welder generator and plug it in and it'll run. Well, I think she could light up on the soap a little bit, but this thing's really quiet. Moving right along, she's wanting to drain her out and put the rinse water to it. The old hound dog, she's in the heat driving us nuts. Good gravy. She's a pumping out just like she's supposed to. Okay, she's got her kind of agitating the soap out of the clothes. We're like in the rent cycle, I guess. But she was excited to get this thing. And uh, it was across the street in the parking lot on the back of my truck. And I untied it and was putting the ropes behind the seat of the truck. And I heard her make this funny noise and start yelling. And I looked back, and all I seen was blood. Well, here's, I told her to leave that tailgate alone. And she was uh, trying to get that tailgate down and got the end of her thumb between the handle and the edge of the metal of the tailgate because the plastic piece around there has been long gone and decided to just take the end of her thumb off. So after, you know, about an hour and 15 minutes at the uh, ER, she's over here with a metal splint and all that and the hand all wrapped up but insisted that we get this thing off and try it out. So here we are. Yep, we did a good job getting them clean and everything. And uh, she needs to let up on the soap a little bit. But here she is one-handed, beating this stuff through the ringer. And it is taking the water out really well. If a person could smile over doing laundry, this is the one. Is this got zippers? So, all right, we'll get back at this and bring you back here. Oh, God. Well, thanks for watching our experiment, making sure everything works on the old girl. And this one's out of the early 40s. That's what I kind of found out online. We bought it over at the ReStore, which, if you don't know what that is, it's Habitat for Humanity's. Uh, store where they sell secondhand goods and all donated items 
building materials and such. It was originally $250. And my sister spied it out there knowing I wanted one and seen it was half off. So I, in the truck and out I went. So 125 plus tax, plus all that money funds uh, their housing projects, which is a win-win. All right, we're, I'm gonna put this thing away and get back to life as normal. I just wanted to add that she uses one of these uh, umbrella clotheslines because our yard's kind of tight. We got a clothesline on down, but uh, she prefers this one. 